welcome to the Vegan Gorilla Cooking Show. I'm your boy, Chef Perry, with the Vegan Gorilla. Happy uh, post Canada Day. I uh, hope everyone has a safe uh, long weekend. Uh, happy to Canada. And happy 4th of July to the American side, just, uh, just south of us. So, anyway, so I'm going to make a little poutine today. And it's going to be a little dill poutine, actually. Now you can do this. You can make any kind of poutine you want, obviously. It's a bit of a Canadian thing. So we've got the fries cooking almost ready. And I've got my topping set here. Um, I have some mushroom gravy here already pre-made uh, from yesterday. I'll link the video for that one. I did a video on that one, so it's, it's easy to make. And my dill cream sauce. Um, did a video on that one, too. And I'll link that one somewhere, too. And that one you can make. I made that one yesterday as well. So it's all prepped, ready to go, and just a matter of cooking some fries and throwing it together. So please subscribe, don't forget to like, and uh, we'll get started on this. All right, let's go. All right, gorillas, get our fries fresh out of the oven. I'm gonna put a little Himalayan sea salt on there. Gotta have the Himalayan, gotta have the Himalayan. All right, let's build this up. Let's get some fries in here. Get them in our plate. Oh, this is so good. We're waiting for this. No routine poutine. This is a nice itty daddy poutine. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's go with that. All right, what's next, what's next? I know what's next. We're gonna put on our dill cream sauce. So again, I made this uh, yesterday and I'll have a link in the uh, video below. It's one of the other videos I made, I'm not sure if you watched it or not, but if you did, it's simple to make. It's just a tofu base um, uh, dill sauce, basically. So it's sort of a mix of sour cream, but it's got some nice flavors in there. So let's put some of that on there. Now, poutine could be anything you want, really. I mean, there's all different variations of it, but it just um, usually people put curds on it, uh, cheese, sour cream, gravy, whatnot. So I'm gonna mix some of that. Okay, so we got that. Let's go with our gravy. This I made yesterday too, and I just warmed it up. She's ready to go. Put that on there. Oh yeah. That's the mushroom gravy. Again, I'll leave the link in the uh, list below for you. Okay. Now, smoked paprika. I have a little pinchy poo of that on there. Nice flavor, nice smokiness, nice color. Not too snappy, not too snappy. All right. And then, there's some other goodness. Some pickles. Now you could dice these up and make them almost like a nice and fine. Uh, I like to have mine kind of whole like that, so I just kind of plop them on there. Yeah, it's gonna be good, it's gonna be good. And then got some chives and onions. Put that on there. It's starting to look like a protein. Looking like a protein. Oh yeah. There we go. Last but never least, a little bit of love. Thank you. Stay. Gotta have your love. All right, folks. Let's give this a taste test. I'm gonna Get this cleaned up first, I'll come back. We'll give it a taste test. How many gorillas? One to five, who knows? But uh, we'll see what we get. Be right back. All right, gorillas, I'm back. I'll give it a taste test and score it uh, one to five. So don't forget to subscribe, it's free. Just hit click, button, the bell, whatever. Grab a like. Got some Canadian uh, favoritisms there. Still celebrating Canada, as we do it, we should every day actually, and United States Independence Day, so which is great. Let's give this a shot. 
It's your only girl. Okay. A little bit of everything in there. Pickles, fries, onion. Hmm. Wow. Oh, That's not routine routine, baby. That's good. I want to give it a five. I'm going to give it a four. I'm going to give it a four, not a five, because I used frozen uh, pre-cooked french fries. If I would have made my own fries out of that, which I should have, but I just want to do a little bit uh, with the frozen, so you know, not everyone wants to take the extra time to cut potatoes and all that stuff. And, but uh, to show you, you can make a quick dish together with some frozen stuff, which is great. Um, definitely that would have been a five, maybe even a six. If you like dill and pickles like I do, this is a great combination. So anyways, I understand if I don't see you again, when I do see you again, much love. Stay safe. I mean, that's baby. See ya. Mm.